How we doing? All right, Jamal. Very yes, sir. Yeah, well, well, first of all, I think it's the first time we maybe talked to you in this press conference format. You've been here a couple years, right? Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. So just kind of reflect on your journey to this point. I know you're excited to get to maybe a point in your career where you can contribute and, and help the team, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's been a blessing um, being here, you know, um, just coming in as one of, you know, Coach Malzahn's first recruiting class. Um, is um, just learning from guys like, you know, obviously Tremont, um, Josh Ellis Gard, you know, that's his time here. And just learning from guys like, you know, Lee and Ricky Barber, you know, obviously the veteran guys. And just coming in is just being humble, you know, just learning the system, you know, just coming in, just being a team player, just contributing the best way I can. Jamal, what have you seen from the, 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 the defensive line in this, this season? I mean, like you mentioned some of the guys you've been kind of working under in the past, you know, Tremont and things like that. But mm -hmm. what have you seen from this group of defensive line? Um, just the physicality, um, just the want to, um, you know, all, all guys in the trenches been coming out with the right attitude and the right approach. So just really just being intentional about just stacking days, just being a unit and just ultimately just working together. How important has patience been for you? Obviously, just putting your work, maybe not getting the opportunities in the first couple of years, but how important is it now to get that opportunity and, and put in that work? I'm um, just staying the course, um, you know, just being me, just taking it one day at a time, just knowing that, you know, this is a process, you know. Um, I just really just came in with that mindset of, you know, that um, it is what it is. I just got to just keep doing me and just, you know, eventually my hard work will um, eventually pay off and it's been doing that. How would you describe today's scrimmage? You got the better of it between the defensive line offense. Um, the scrimmage was good. Um, I feel like everybody was, you know, had that right approach of trying to get after the ball, um, you know, getting the call, just getting it lined up, and, you know, just being aggressive up front, and, you know, everybody else would lead and follow in the, between the linebacker and secondary. How, how, how competitive have these scrimmages been between the defense and the offense? Is that the level that it needs to be? Um, I want to say it, it, we're going to get there for sure, you know. Um, we're just being intentional, just really just about stacking days and just, being disciplined and just coming out with, you know, that right mindset of just, you know, getting after the football, hunting the football at each and every play and, you know, just training like Coach Roof always tell us. Jamal, how do you think you can help the team this year? Is it uh, defensive end, edge spot that you're going to be playing? Yes, sir. Yeah, so how, how excited are you for this year and how do you think you can help, help the team? Very excited, very excited for this season, upcoming season. Um, just, you know, like I said again, just being that team player, just contributing the best way I can, you know, not um, overstepping my part and, you know, just trying to just be more vocal this year, being a team leader that I know I'm confident I can be in. And um, ultimately just, you know, just trusting my teammates, they're going to do what they're going to do and my coaches, that they're going to put us in the right spots to be successful. What's been your goal this spring? I mean, you tried to, to get better. What things do you want to get better at? Um, really my pass rush, you know, my get off. You know, I got to keep my pad, pad level down a little bit, but you know, everything else will take care of itself as long as I just keep taking the coaching from Coach Ingram and you know, everything else will take care of itself. We've heard from coaches and players on the defensive side of the ball about the intensity level mm -hmm. being up during this camp. What do you like about that? The intensity, um, I like it. You know, uh, you know, we got a lot of veteran guys, so every day the, the approach is always to just get after it. You know, the guys, they treat us like pros. The coaches treat us like pros, so we already know with that mindset to just get after it and just attack the football every day. Jamal, what kind of scrimmage did you have today? Did you have a sack or some tackles? How, how did you do out there today? Um, I did pretty solid, um, no sacks, um, but I was getting after the football today. That was just my mindset, just hunt the football as best as I can, each and every play, just train, and then, you know, like I said, everything else to take care of itself. So. What did you play last year? I know you were kind of, you know, backup and stuff. Did you play special teams, or, or how much playing time did you get last year? Um, I was um, blessed enough to, you know, play um, four games and get um, quite a few snaps, but um, it was obviously a fun experience for me. Um, the biggest thing for me is while I was on the sidelines, just learning of how the college level goes and how the game goes. And, you know, Tremont and, you know, Ricky and guys like that have been doing a great job of just taking me in as, you know, their little brother and just been showing me the ropes and just showing me how to develop and be a great football player. So who is the guy, you know, between Stella Scar and drop like is there kind of do you kind of see yourself maybe in one of those roles or yes sir yes sir I, I definitely see myself um, filling that role and you know definitely seeing myself coming a complete player here um being a team leader you know being a team player putting the team first you know before anything just knowing and understanding that this is bigger than me and you know yeah I know it's tough for a lineman to go you know straight from high school to like heavy contributor right away just physically mm -hmm. and you're playing against guys uh, these guys are like 23, 24 years old. So what's been like the the process for you to like get in shape? Like, 
in the weight room has that been a process of just becoming more you know physical and stuff and like gaining weight or, or what's yes, kind sir. of been like just that? developing um just really just conditioning myself you know making sure I'm, I'm game shape ready um just when you know my name my num my name and number is called I'm ready to step up to the plate and step up to the challenge when my coach called me um you know before this whole spring ball deal started you know coach Malzahn and coach Ingram you know sat me down in the office and told me you know this is one of the years where I need to turn it loose where I need to establish myself here and I think I've been doing a good job of it so was there a weight that you needed to get to or like when you got into to UCF or have you kind of are you kind of where you need to be right now from like I, I feel comfortable at where I'm at right now I'm averaging at you know 235 right now so the goal is probably to get to you know at least 240 but I'm comfortable in the weight of how I'm moving right now and you know how I'm functioning how much are you liking this new tag group defense and what are the differences you've seen compared to the last couple of years in the defense group? Um, we are definitely more, you know, physical. We're definitely more attention to detail this year. Um, Coach Roof, you know, obviously a veteran guy, somebody who's very um, experienced in this um, profession, been just teaching us about our, just our approach and our attitude, you know, just having that comfortability to be able to just do it over and over and over again. So that's just the right approach. I've been taking the practice every day, just, you know, making sure I put myself in the, possible, the best possible position to be successful so my teammates can do what they can do. As well. Obviously, you knowing you're going to have a bigger role, what is your mindset heading into the spring game? Obviously, next season, what you need to work on as offseason to make sure you're ready to take on that bigger role. Just being that team player, just being that leader, and just letting everything take care of itself, and just you know, ultimately just trusting God. You know, I'm a big man of Christ. Um, but just letting, just le letting everything, just you know, be where it needs to be. Just always doing my part, whether it's always going to treatment, being on, being the meetings on time, and so just doing my part. You know, being a pro. Is there a younger guy or a couple of younger guys that really, you know, caught your eye for the spring and, and heading into the spring games? A couple guys that you're like, oh, they can make an impact maybe this year or in the future? For sure. Uh, Chasten Johnson, you know, um, Christian Peterson, or CP. Um, definitely been seeing um, some good stuff from DJ McCormick, linebacker. So it's, it's, all, it's all types of guys, x -ray. So I've definitely been seeing some good stuff, good tape of them, good production. But just the main thing, we just want to just keep stacking days and just being attention to detail and being focused on what we got to do to have a successful season. After not really playing a lot your first two years, mm -hmm. I mean, how much are you looking forward to this season? And, you know, you're going to look like you're being one of the key guys, mm -hmm. you know, in that D-line rotation. Yes, are you getting, I know it's just spring right now, mm -hmm. but are you getting excited about the season? Ahead getting very the opportunities for you. Yes, sir. I'm getting very excited just being consistent as I can every day, taking it one day at a time. Just really just showing my teammates and my coaches that I'm here and I'm ready to step up to the challenge this year. And they, they trust me in that and I feel that they're very confident in me this year. So just the biggest thing, just turning it loose and, you know, just being me. We just start the day, how we set the tone, how we set the standard. Question there was about chemistry. I want to ask about trust. Uh, earning the trust of the guys with you and your youth. How do you go about that? And how do you feel that you can trust your team? Um, yes, sir. Uh, I feel like uh, the trust is um, very much there. Um, Malachi, I could trust Malachi. I could trust, could trust God, like Malachi and Kaven, you know, to do what they need to do. And it's just that it's just one of those things where we don't have to say much to each other. We just go out there, just be with our feet are, and we just know what to do. And, and we go out there, just know what to attack, and just know how to execute. How, you, how much are you looking forward to the spring game next Friday? Very excited, very excited. The biggest thing for me is just you know just doing my job, you know, just doing it at a high level, just training to the football every play, just having that mindset of just hunting the football. You know, whenever y'all turn on tape, I want y'all to be able to say that you know he's a team player. He knows how to win. He knows how to get out there. Are you excited about playing in front of a crowd, a bigger crowd, how you guys kind of knocking each other out here? I am, I am. It's going to be fun. Very much entertainment for the fans. You know, the fans are going to enjoy it and they love it. How motivated are you, by the way, the defense performed last season? You know there was a lot of talk about it. You know, obviously the biggest emphasis on us was just stopping the run. So that's just the mindset of just being physical up front, just dominating at the point of attack every play. And that's just the mindset we've been having going on. We've just been, we've been benefits from it. Coach Roof has said that at the press conference. Stopping the run yes, sir. is critical. You hear that a lot from him. What else is he messaging? Um, that, that's really that's just him. That's his philosophy. Just every day, just having that mindset, that approach of just attacking every play, every single snap, every play, just having that great mindset. And you know, every time you have that mindset, you could always you know beat your opponent with that type of mindset. You, know, you can't be stopped. So I've asked a lot of the defensive linemen about this. But Coach Mo, I know, is working with MMA style. Yeah. But, you know, how much have, have you learned from that? And, and do you think it's been a benefit for you guys? Very much beneficial. Coach Mo came in. You know, obviously, yeah, this impact with you know the defense.
safe as well with the Detroit Lions and stuff like that. So just coming in, just learning from a guy like that, it's been a true blessing. Just showing just how serious they are about putting us in the right spots to be successful with what we need to do. How did you approach the offseason physically? Way more just getting ready for the spring camp. That mindset, just get after it, just that approach. But that's just how I am. That's just how you know I'm programmed. Just whenever I step in that building, just be, whenever I step on that field, I'll just be where my feet at. Just come in with that approach to just attack everything that comes my way. You know, I know I'll be successful. You seem to understand that you can't take any plays off. I mean, the competition is just too fierce. So if you're taking a play off, some other guy is. Mm -hmm. Especially with you know, the us in this conference, you know, this at a high level. You know, guys are bigger, stronger, faster, and the more attention to detail on what they're doing too. So just putting myself in that right position to just attack and just to show up and just rise up to the challenge every week to week. It's gonna be Do you think that's a lesson learned from this team from last season, yeah. its first run in the Big 12? Yeah. I mean, you talk about the physicality. So you guys got punched in the nose sometimes for these Big 12 teams. You understand that a little bit better. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just having that attention to details because you know these Big 12 teams will you know how to exploit and. Expose anything once you if you're not on you know your P's and Q's and if you're not having attention that attention that focus every place. So that's just been the key for us to just really just get after it, having that locked in focus and just